so I'm Adam Taylor and I have an architectural design practice, ATA. Being private people, they wanted the house to remain private but still have a really open outlook and, and make sure that we captured those views to the trees and to the north, the sun and the mountain. They wanted to nestle in so it didn't feel imposing and be relative to the houses around the neighbourhood. I was trying to find like balance between something that is moody but it still needs to make sense of the beach so it has to kind of look a little bit weird it has to have a bit of a patina to it we want the gardens to kind of overgrow a little bit it wants to look like it's sat here a while and sort of have a relationship now, the brief for this house was for some clients who were looking to downsize in part the idea being that the house could expand when it needed to but it also catered for their, their love of cars. They essentially wanted to live an apartment lifestyle in the mount, close to all the amenity, but have that ability to expand. The main thread that started everything was how we're gonna bring people into the building. It's a long, narrow site, kind of running north-south. All our living spaces were gonna be in the northern end of the property. And it was that idea of not dragging people from the road front through the bowels of the building into the living space. We brought them up the, the side boundary uh, to a front door there so they can enter straight into the living. But we wanted to that moment to be a little bit bigger and a little bit special. So that's where the idea of that kind of notch in the building exists. And that entry point is kind of like a fulcrum that sets up the whole design. And it's where that design idea of shape and form followed from. layout for the home it's uh, it's fairly simple space planning and we've used that entrance and the stairs as our I guess our anchor point now axes for the whole house the priority was being almost like a, a grand apartment at the front of the house so we've got kitchen dining living we're using a big void above that space and a bridge um, at first floor which reaches across to what is I call it a master retreat and then to the south we obviously have um, a lot of garaging and services downstairs with guest bedrooms upstairs We really wanted a, a unique cladding finish for this house. Um, we wanted to embellish that shape that we've put together and we worked with um, Ray and the team at Rosenfeld Kudsen um, to create a custom vertical cedar ship lamp. It's a, a raking board, so it goes from deeper to skinny, so it has a lot of movement and shape to it. It's really added a nice layer and texture which embellishes that shape. A house like this, you need a, a really trusting and brave client that's gonna believe in your vision and understand it. Client, builder, engineer, trades, everyone has to come together and be on board and believe in a vision to pull something off. <laughs>